everyone so today is the fourth meeting of the gsoc building jenkins i with alternative to its project and uh first off today we're going to discuss about the strategy to tackle the project as discussed in um the group chat let's see so it's like uh because like i did reply eventually to everyone and which is uh, which may be a little bit different from what we had discussed before that's why i wanted to confirm the strategy and that's one thing we want to discuss also we would like to um i think we would like to check um on progress indeed so what what do you have to show this week well i have good news i have a ported the uh, user documentation completely uh wait i can sh i can show that i guess right yeah. now yeah sure hang on stop sharing so wait okay i think you can share just a minute Yeah, yeah. Share screen. Okay. Uh, can you guys yep. see this? Very well. Yeah. Uh, I I was I am I'm facing some problems with system administration page because like they uh, it has a reverse pop proxy configurations and the like links are not working the page is not changing other than that everything is working fine uh, like uh i i think uh in some pages where we have work in progress uh entora is not reading them correctly so what should i do because uh, i don't i don't i don't know how this work in progress equals to true things work oh, like if i remove this if i remove this the page will be just an empty page without that uh, without what we what we see on jenkins.io on pages that are actually in work in progress yeah cuz like when you have a work in progress it shows a button an yeah, icon yeah it shows an yeah, icon like, on the passing man, managing i managing jenkins and yeah yeah here we have i guess it was script console no okay. it is not work in progress uh, uh wait let me see which one is the work in progress page okay so is this indicating to us Vandit, yeah, that, that, that was one that was one you may yeah, not be oh there we go okay. the this system this like uh i don't know how uh, how this thing uh, is here we can make a comparison for it i think but i'm not sure because like um let me check so I think I, we can what we can do is to um for in toilet. Let me let me search for it. Cause sorry. Uh, this weird. is this is just in this. Uh, I can I can like we can place this uh place this with like uh we I can just write it here like uh somewhere here I can write uh the warning the warning tag I guess it's the warning. Uh, it's the warning admonition block in Entora. Okay. Correct. So like, yeah. So I can we can use that on like I can copy paste that on every page. I uh, don't want to do copy paste. So I want to like use a config for it. So it's like we can we can make a component, and we can um we could yeah that that might we that can might create work. a partial in Entora. Oh, hmm. that that works too. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can include that partial on all the work in progress pages. Yeah, that works. So does Antora have a concept of that variable that's that's defined in that ASCII doc file? Or no, uh, it's no. only it it does no. not. Okay, thank you. No, it does not. Okay, but okay. can we can we define something similar? Like when we turn turn on like a flag and then we show like the work in progress page. So the uh, because Antora does not actually read all this layout section. It it does it the the minimum the standard page structure is just 
uh, uh, your title and start like uh, writing whatever you want. Yeah, but can we can we customize like if we go back to the entire page? Uh, does it say we can customize the icon, or is uh, it just page? Yeah, we can we can custom we can customize this admonition block. Okay. But it it will then we yeah I can I can do that I can do that we can uh we can create. No wait, uh, I can up I can try updating the UI project, and add a warning for work in progress, which will so that on pages where like we have actual warnings, uh, yeah. on we'll have uh we'll have something like this because I have like updated, uh, how the, uh here I the UI which I I am creating, uh it it show it will have warning here and yellow color. Okay, if but uh, so how does how does this work compared to the the the, the fact for the working progress, the caution? Yeah, yeah. So I I can I can like create an a, a like I can update I can update the uh admonition block, okay. keeping the previous one too, and one for the working progress one. Okay, or we can we can we can um, but let, let's check that uh. Have you have you kept a record of all the like the the other ones besides work in progress that we need to account for? Uh, I I haven't like keep, keep I I see I saw some work in I saw some work in progress uh, uh, files uh and uh, uh I just pushed my changes so I just uh, I just saw that it was not working like five minutes ago so but I think I think using a partial would be much easier to. Like uh, add. I think for 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 working progress, it's easy to use a partial too. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can just add a partial. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Anything else you want to report on? Uh, no. I I I uh, and I I will I will like uh put the tutorials and resources tomorrow, and uh, after that I'll have to like. Uh, correct the links on all the pages. So I am thinking about writing a script. So I'll start uh working on the script. Yes, uh, after uh, the day after tomorrow. Um, and can, yeah, sure. But um, I'm just wondering if you, we can use the trial boy just created. So uh, if do you still have the link to it? Uh, I didn't quite catch you, Chris. Uh, the Trello page. Yeah, Trello. Yeah, yeah. I joined. I joined it. Can can you create some tickets for it so we can track with progress? Because like you you're not opening PRs on your like uh web Yeah, let me so just hello. Yep. Yep, I I joined it with my phone. I have to see okay. here. Uh yeah. Okay. Uh, I, like, I do I have to create try creating a card? Yep, I think so. Yeah, because I created some for you, but um, yeah, I I saw the existing ones. Uh, yeah. update the existing links to Entura to how Entura reads links okay. and includes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, sure. That's good. That's one thing existing links. Okay. Let me add um an action item on the docs too. So we have that. So let me see. So that's um this one to so that's uh add to uh, fix the links and then to one. Okay. Okay. Um, anything else you want to report on? No, uh, this is all I have done uh, after the after Thursday. But um, can we go through what you have done so far? Like what 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 did you what have you 
like how how much is left to do and uh, what has been yeah. accomplished. Uh in comparison to what what will they have on Jenkins Dio? Uh in in comparison to Jenkins.io, uh first I'll have to like port tutorials and resources. Then uh then uh, how Mark po pointed out that special page where we uh, in the pipeline, like we, where we can like search for things. Uh, the I I I I, I the special pages are the ones which I'll work uh, on later. Mm -hmm. But I'm yeah. constantly checking if anything is wrong with them or not. So like I can uh, I can research while working I, while working on other things. Uh, can you show what we, what, can you show us what you have currently with Antora? Yeah, uh, with Antora, I currently have Jenkins main homepage. Uh, the no, uh, I still have to port all the images because they are not in the same folder. So like I'll have to search for it. I'll download I'll download the complete project and like uh, put them in the right places. So uh, I think it will it that will be like time taking. Uh, so it would be done by next Saturday, uh, where next by next Saturday we'll have complete user docs and developer docs. Uh, I guess if everything okay. goes well, yeah. So Vandi, I, I'm you may have already explained it to others, but it would help me if if you could help me understand what so what's the difference between the images in the in the current site, the Jenkins.io repository, and where we're going in Antora. Antora assumes some different things about the location of the pictures, or yes, tell, yes. tell us more about it. Yeah, I, I'll I'll show you how they organize their files. Um, images. That, okay, I'll I'll just show it from here. Uh, in uh, in Antora, I I have these modules, and these modules has the have these assets where we can add attachments and images. So like. Of each uh, all the pages in a module will first read the images from the images folder, the assets folder from the images. So I'll have to put them in the images folder, in e uh, in each uh, module. Currently on our on our site we have images on like we have images on different, uh, in a different folder. Some images are some some images are on a in a different folder for documentation and developer documentation and user documentation wait i'll uh, i think i think it's on the contents so it's like one yeah like, the image. images the images folder yeah i'll have to download all of this and in this i uh, i blue like uh, like i have created the blue ocean uh, blue ocean uh, part like blue ocean it, section blue ocean section all the images for blue ocean will be here will be in here so i'll download this and put them in the correct incorrect uh correct files of so correct mean, folders so do you mean like currently with and is by module right yeah so image folder goes with the module yes yeah, i'll have to follow that structure only okay so so their antora doesn't have a way to augment or extend the search path for images like we use with Ostruct and ASCII doc today? Uh, if I, I it has, uh, then I'll have to like, I'll have to put the path, 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 of, path of each image, uh, path of each image there. If I show you how, uh, Ostr how we like add images in Ostruct uh, mm -hmm. content. Uh, content. No, this. Uh, yeah. I, I think it's content doc, right? Yeah, content doc book. Mm -hmm. uh, in where, 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 where was I? I was in creating pipelines. Creating pipelines dot a doc code. Yeah. So up at the top, there is that that at yeah. the very top of the top of the um, what do you call it at the top of the file there's the images dir images, images directory images directory yeah and that's not a concept that antora has yeah 
it does not have i'll have to like uh, put, put the complete path if like if i i just put all the images in one place and then uh, reference them from there then i'll have to uh, write the complete path okay which, which will be equally like which will be equally time wasting i guess you can say Okay, thank you. Thanks for the clarification. So, Antora really doesn't have a concept of look in another location for images. It it wants them in exactly the location it's defined. Makes sense. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I have another question though. It's like, um, how do we keep track of the current documentation and any changes to it before our project is finalized? Because like, um, when we're uh, working, on some I. I might have uh, might been updated by uh, contributors. Yeah, I because because it is a common problem by like till September, many some many of the files will be like updated by the contributors. So I was thinking yeah. about checking checking the commits, checking the commits, uh, on all the doc like checking the commits, or like yeah. we can like manage a spreadsheet for that. Yeah, that would be good. Like uh, if if any of the documentation files are updated, uh, we can like uh, update that there that I'll have. So later I'll just update the update it for one last time. So everything will be up to date. So so we can't just. I, I would have initially thought, oh, manage this as a fork of the repository and use git commands to do the moves so that git would help us do that but i assume your current working repository is not actually a fork of jenkins.io is it no it is a complete new project of Antara. right and, and that's a lot tidier so so I, I i think some other means rather than using git to track the changes probably is what we'll have to do okay yeah. yeah but uh, but if you if you uh, like if we look and uh, think uh, for the future when we'll when we'll, when i'll start working on the blogs the blogs have much more amount of images and the same problem like uh, the same problem problem would be there yeah well but but the blog images are or the blog content in general is much less likely to change than this documentation on creating a pipeline or on yeah. a tutorial so yeah, because, yeah, because, because blogs tend to be written once and never modified mm -hmm. yep okay Th we'll thanks to, for the clarification yeah you're welcome Mark. we'll have to we'll have to like tra track this these changes somewhere so like i can update them later okay. before like we actually uh host docs.enterra.io docs.jenkins.io and uh, are you currently watching the repo so on github and uh, and nope uh, i'm Could i'm you? current like I, I i i sometimes glance over the issues but like like not actually reading what they are about or okay if... yeah the, the reason you found a way to keep track of all the changes other than uh, or or like I said, we can just look at the commits. The more the more I can uh, the more recent commits, the files which will have more recent commits, I'll update them nonetheless. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. That's from my side. I I want I wanted I wanted your guys input on the like the look of the site. I I'm very impressed. I, I'm really thrilled. I I like that. I forget, Vandit, maybe it was even you who did all the work to get us so that the left hand navigation was static, was held steady on the current site. And I like this layout even better. This looks yeah. great to me. I think I think you've done a brilliant job there with the and I I hope it came for with with low relatively low effort thanks to Antora. Yeah. Now the creating dash pipelines dot a doc. I assume those will get a title that's yeah. not just the title of the file. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, like I said, I just pushed these changes and I was testing them out. Great. And then I saw like, oh, it's time for the meeting. Yeah, I'll 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 uh, update all this and uh, send a record. I uh, send a video recording, screen recording of uh, how the complete user documentation will look. 
then we can move on to like tutorials and solutions. Very good. Yeah, Chris, that's from my site. Okay, so uh, let me think. I'll stop sharing. Okay. So let me share my screen for the document. So currently I have three action items. So one is to complete a script. Yeah. But I kind of think that it, the first is overlapping of the second. So the second is to complete a user and developer docs by next Saturday. So yeah. Bye. So I'm for an item to open tickets on Trello. Anything you can think of, I should add to it. Uh, no, I think it's like, it, it sums it up. Okay. So when when you push a code to you, uh, when when you you like you, you just um, it's a way we can keep track of like um, incremental changes or like um, would you would are you working by branches now or not really? No, I'm just pushing to the main right now. Okay, so maybe after you're done with the with the developer dog, um, is it okay for you to work on a branch instead yeah. of like? On the main okay Let's chris see. is well, is your concern wanting vandy you're using a public repository right so the rest of us could certainly open your repository build it and look at it ourselves or yeah or is the build process more complicated than that no it's I not want, um the, the, uh, the way it's, i want i want vandy to host like a version va let's say like get our pages first if we can do so Mm, that's why okay. i want to go by branches Got yeah it. so i'll set i'll set up github pages for that so like we can like uh, show the community as well okay cool. i guess for existing existing i think it's main is it main branch yeah okay Good. And we should afterwards, um, once you have a product to show, we should um, start another email thread. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything, anything else from you guys for Jeff, you mean? No, from my side. I, I like his work. I'm impressed by his page. Yeah, me too. Would you, how about you? Not for myself. Yeah, it's very clean look. Also, like, yeah, so branches, we'll be making a branches. So are going to create a PR, right? Uh, the changes you're doing. Yeah, I think uh, so I can, like, ping you guys for a, a review. We, I, I should um, use branches. No, oh, okay, yeah. Fine. Moving forward, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So um, that's me again next Saturday, same time. Yeah. Okay, any any other questions you have for us indeed before we go? No, everything is fine. Okay. Oh, I have one last question. Yeah. So uh will the uh will the pull request be sent to the uh Gitter? Yeah, yeah, Gitter chat. Oh okay, thanks. Okay. And also can you, can you, I got a question for you though, Vendi. Like could you send the final links to us again? Because like I think you sent up three before, but I, I think only two are currently in use. Uh, I didn't quite get, catch you, Chris. Can you so uh, you, you have sent out three repos before, but I think only two are in use by you. Could you yeah, send yeah. The Jen final Jenkins, Jenkins UI is not used. Uh, I'm not using Jenkins UI. Uh, okay. I'm only using Jenkins uh, Docs and Jenkins UI project. Okay, could you send those again? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just one double. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send the links to the uh, GitHub. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks everyone. Thank you. Thanks everyone.